Alright, so pet spotlight for today will be on the Blossoming Ancient. With the pet store currently being like 50% off right now for select pets, I went ahead and just grabbed the two best ones, which were of course the Blossoming Ancient and Little Ragnaros. Uh, so this pet spotlight will be on the Blossoming Ancient. How do you get it? Just shill over $10 to Blizzard and you got your very own Blossoming Ancient. Or uh, 5 bucks if you buy it at the time I'm making this video, since it's on sale right now. Blossoming Ancient, he's a huge pain in the ass to kill. Probably the hardest, one of the hardest pets to kill in the game. Uh, he's probably not the hardest, I mean I guess. I guess the Singing Sunflower is kind of hard to kill too, but Blossoming Ancient takes that up to another level. Uh, Blossoming Ancient is able to do this thing where he can throw out sunlight and use Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a unique ability that only a handful of pets have. Uh, of the handful of pets that have it, uh, only two of them can throw out the sunlight effect, which boosts its effectiveness. It's a five round hot. It's a pretty good five round hot. The thing is, if sunny weather is out, it heals for double which is about 200 every turn. Sunny weather also uh, increases healing effects by 25%, so you're gonna heal up for about 200 at the end of every turn, which is just a huge amount. I don't think there's any other heal in the game just heals for that much. And it lasts for five turns and has no cooldown. So you can just uh, throw up a photosynthesis even without sunlight, switch to the background, just heal for a crap ton. With sunlight, you're gonna heal up to full no matter what percentage you're at. It's just a huge amount of healing. Now. Since he can throw out sunlight and photosynthesis, he's already like a huge powerhouse and just healing through everything. Uh, except his basic attack, Iron Bark, also throws up a one turn shell armor, where you take 75 less damage for a turn. So it's basically, uh, it's exactly like the crab ability, shell shield. Uh, this crab right here is really strong, so his shell shield obviously blocks more damage than the iron bark, but it is exactly the same. If Blossoming Agent wasn't a crabby balance balance type, he'd probably uh, block more damage, but uh, that's how much it blocks right now. Which is uh, still pretty good. Basically, you just won't take dot damage, and you're going to be healing up for a crap ton at the same time as taking 75 less damage from all abilities. So, Blossoming Agent uh, is able to heal up for a ton. And Iron Bark is an attack too. It's not a very good attack. So matches with Sunlight teams are the worst. They last forever. The worst team in the world is to have a Blossoming Ancient and like two Singing Sunflowers or Blossoming Ancient, uh, a Singing Sunflower. Here, let me put that team together. Singing Sunflower and where is that pet? Uh, I forgot what his name was, Anti-Valk, the Magical Crawdad. Okay, this team right here. Uh, this team could legitimately be named Cancer. This is the Cancer team. It is the worst team to ever exist. It's uh, it's the worst. It's I don't think there's a team worse than this team. It's just so bad. Uh, Seeing Sunflower actually has a lot more health too. He's slow as shit though. I think I kind of like the stats on the Blossom Ancient. The Balance Balance, uh, I mean he does, I really do like how he's not slow as shit. Slinking Sunflower, he's really slow, I don't really like him. Because you're basically shoehorned into only being able to use sun, Solar Beam anyway. Uh, wait, anyway, this is an, this pet spotlight is not about Slinking Sunflower, it's about the Blossoming Ancient. Thing is though, while this is probably the best build to just survive, it's not the only build he can use, legitimately. Not like the Singing Sunflower, this is basically all he can do. Uh, Crawdad, he has a lot more uh, move maneuverability as well, he doesn't have to be stuck into these. He can also take Shell Shield and Snap. <laughs> they both work. Uh, Blossoming Ancient, okay, so let's, I'm not gonna, I'm not, when I do the pet model at the end of this video, I'm not gonna use the Cancer team. I'm not that much of an asshole uh, to waste someone's time like that. So, uh, let's see, what are his other abilities? He also has Autumn Breeze. Calls forth a cool Autumn Breeze, which restores 177 health to all allies and reduces the enemy's team's hit chance by 25% for two turns. Autumn Breeze is a unique ability that only the Ancient Blossom has, or the Blossoming Ancient. Autumn Breeze is actually a really good ability. Uh, because if you throw out sunlight, it increases the heal by 25%. And that takes the heal up to 
A little over 200. A little over 200, 25%. Actually, how much is that? Oh, I can't do that math in my head. If I were just to round it up to 200 and I take 25% of that, which is 50, it goes about to up 250, so around around 250 of a heal. There's another pet in the game who has a an AoE heal ability that heals up for around 276. And he, the Frostwolf Ghost Pup, is really good on anti-AoE teams because of Haunting Song and its ability to heal up all allies for 700 for about 275. Uh, Autumn Breeze heals up for about, uh, I don't know, I'd say around 25 or 30 less uh, health for every pet while having the same cooldown, but the addition of reducing your opponent's team's hit chance by 25% for two turns. So there's a chance your opponent's going to miss. It's a 25% chance. Uh, I've seen people miss multiple times under Darkness, which is only a 10% reduced hit chance. This is uh, more than double that. So, it's a really good move. Photosynthesis is also a really good heal, so it's kind of hard to choose which one you want to use, but they're both really good. Autumn Breeze, some people might argue, is better. Just because of how good the Frostal of Ghost Pup is because of Haunting Song, and because uh, he has, actually has a really high attack power value, which makes Haunting Song even better. Uh, Blossoming Ancient has a pretty mediocre attack power value. It's not low, but it's not high either. So if his attack power was higher, Autumn Breeze would heal up for a lot more, and make him definitely better than you know the Ghost Wolf Pope, uh, the Frostal of Ghost Pup with Sunlight. And actually, I don't know. I still think the Frostal of Ghost Pup. They're both tier one pets. Uh, they're both useful. Uh, they're both really good in anti AOE teams just because he also has a really good, you know, heal to all your pets. And he has a way to boost the effectiveness of it. So they're both totally useful. And then his other attack, uh, Poison Branch, it's a nice dot. And it applies, the application it applies though, isn't that much damage. It's only 177 damage. So if you're stuck spamming an ability, you'd rather spam Iron Bark than Poison Branch, but Poison Branch would do more damage just because it puts up a dot as well. And if you just count the dot for the turn and add it to the 177, it goes up to around 250. And Iron Bark only hits for 225 damage, so it hits about 25 more. Uh, but Iron Bark also reduces damage you take, which can be really good. But then again, if you just want damage, Poison Brand is pretty good too. Especially if your pet, if your opponent switches out, then it does even more damage because they're taking that dot in the back row. So there can be a case to made for both of the basic attacks. Usually, you'll see Iron Branch, Iron Bark on this, uh, but you totally can take Poison Branch too. It's it's fine. Now for his third ability, uh, Stun Seeds is fine. I mean, his, the whole thing Blossom Ancient does is the fact that he has a Sunlight and two really good heals to use, but I mean, you can take Stun Seeds too if you really just want to throw your opponent for a loop and just not heal, <laughs> so. Uh, I mean, it's not a bad ability, but usually uh, stuns like that take three turns to go off, uh, you usually avoid those kinds of abilities in PvP because they're really easy to block. So I mean, if you're using him for some kind of PvE reason and you want to use stun seeds, there's, I'm gonna be honest, there's other pets that do it better. But uh, yeah, you you can use it if you want. It's not bad. It's just I wouldn't. Sunlight is better because it combos with his other abilities just a lot more. All right, and I think that's it. I'm going to show you the Blossoming Ancient in a pet battle now. But I'm not going to use the Cancer team. I'm going to use one that's uh, that's not as annoying. Uh, all right, this team will be annoying. I think I can deal with it though, as long as I play it smart. Let's go straight into Photosynthesis, just in case he decides to go straight into Blinding Poison, which he totally did. Uh, I think I actually kind of want to save Sunlight because I want that to hit against the Mechanical Dragon Lane, so I'm going to go for an Iron Bark instead to reduce some damage. It looks like he went straight into Puncture Wound, huh? I guess he knew I wasn't going to be switching out anytime soon. Alright, so it looks like his Fossilized Hatchlings and his Death Adder Hatchling only stayed in long enough to do two abilities. 
That's fine. Blossom Angel will be able to heal up to full in the back row. And I'll let Hamlet uh, have some fun against the fossilized hatchling. I need to powerball a couple of times to be able to outspeed. Oh shit, he switched out immediately as soon as he got his AoE off. Alright, he's probably going to go for a decoy right here. No decoy. Uh, that's fine. Since he's not going for a decoy. I'm going to predict a decoy on this turn, so I'm going to go for a flank. One, two, three. Damn it, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough! <laughs> Uh, oh well, I'm gonna go for two power balls. Uh, I'm faster than his pet, so it doesn't really matter. And one more power ball to get rid of the decoy. I just want that decoy to go away as soon as possible. There goes his death adder hatchling. I'm gonna go for my spirit spikes this turn. Let's hope he goes for a puncture wound. Oh, he did! Ho ho ho! That was bad news bear for you, death adder hatchling, because you just took double damage for my spirit spikes. And I think he tried to hit me with Poison Fang, but he didn't do enough damage for it to actually go through. So, Death Adder Hatchling's gone. What he should have done was, like, spit in my face. Uh, that way, I would... He would just let the turn go away on my spirit spikes. So he wouldn't take so much damage. Uh, how things are looking right now, I might be able just to kill his entire team with just Hamlet, so he didn't really get to see how good the Blossoming Ancient is with that team, because my other pet just overshadowed it so badly. Uh, I guess, uh, that works I guess. 